I just feel so much more connected, tuned in and alive when I eat raw food. I feel different. There's something powerful. I cannot recommend it enough. And I don't mean a high fat, complicated raw food diet with like big salads. I've had no salads the last three days. I don't really recommend salads to be honest. Except for transitioning, if you really feel the need for something very heavy and dense, where you otherwise going to go for cooked, oily, salty food instead. Starchy, cooked, oily, salty food. Therefore, then go for salads if you need it. But use it as a tool, not a way of life. It's not like the be-all and end-all. It's not the ultimate. It's not simple and it's not natural per se. I don't mean that as a judgment. When I say natural, all of animals and all of nature, all the microbes, all um plants, all animals, all insects. They don't concoct re recipes. They, first of all, they don't cook. Second of all, they don't make recipes out of like many ingredients. And thirdly, they don't get any human diseases, which is basically primate, which degeneration, you know, and uh, disassociation from nature. That's what creates disease and sadness and unhealth and depression. Disconnected from nature, man. I don't know anyone who's like Going barefoot walking around the place or taking off their socks and shoes in the back garden or the front garden, who's breathing the fresh air, going for long walks in nature, going to the beach like I do, looking at the moon, moonwalking, moon gazing, yeah, the moonwalking things. <laughs> um, having fun being, you don't have fun and be happy like I do when you're in, in tune with nature, not only from the food perspective, but definitely from the just being in nature, touching a tree. Saying, talking to the to the to the plants, look, admiring the beauty of a flower, stopping to pause and being mesmerized by the fire or the ocean or the horizon, the beach, the waves. That's what I do. I do all this stuff. I collect um, I collect wood at the beach, like um, driftwood, and I bring it back in the car. And I light fires, like in my front garden, in my garden, you know. And it's thrilling. It's enthralling. It's captivating. It's mesmerizing. It's meditative. Meditative. It's just beautiful. It's food for my soul, 100%. Oh, my goodness. Just to love the birds deeply, to love the microbes, to love the animals and the insects. It's been probably, possibly the greatest gift of my life. It's not only that, but I also love humans. Humans aren't exactly nature because we were so far removed from nature, but we are a part of nature. And ultimately, deep down, we are nature too. And it's only because we are nature that when we get removed from nature, when we remove ourselves, or being programmed or like habitually, habit like made into a habit through the, through 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 the media and through life as it is, it's only because we are nature that we get sick when we're not in nature enough and we're removed from nature and we don't feel connected and in love with nature. That's why we get sick because we are nature. Like if we were a, an, an unnatural thing, or an, it, it, a building or a metal beam and we weren't in nature we wouldn't get sick because we're not nature but we belong to mother earth gaia my friends we are sustained fed and homed by mother earth gaia and the sun and all of gaia's elements the air the winds the rain the rivers the water the ocean the lakes all of the water the precipitation the snow the, uh, <laughs> the ice the dew all the water the water vapor, the water in the air, the water particles, the earth, the mountains, the forests, the earth and the soil beneath the feet that grows our food and all the plants, animals, insects and microbes. We belong to nature, my friends. And the sun is what also gives, does its part with Gaia and all of our elements that produce life and love and food for us and home. I wish people knew that. It reminds me of the film Avatar. Mm. Mm, I just love the sun so much it just makes me feel so happy it makes me feel so relaxed and peaceful and it usually energizes energizes me too to a certain degree in a very very positive peaceful and harmonious type of way nothing like a stimulant yeah sun gazing as well in the first or last hour if you can you know all of these things deep breathing Eating in nature, I just kind of recommend enough eating inside in your garden or in nature, everybody have a picnic. Mm -hmm. Eating in buildings is unnatural, no judgment, but you're not going to feel as good or holistic or have the highest vibration if you eat in nature, as well as connecting to and giving, appreciating the plants and Gaia and the sun 
and the elements and the microbes and the insect and the and the animals and humans that play the part in your food so eat consciously instead of mindlessly or eat heartfully and thankfully priestly gratitude <laughs>